It's an unbelievable feeling, actually. Um, the last time, the first time that I ever did anything with the national team was my senior year of high school. So finally getting to put on like the actual jersey and compete against other international teams was nice. So it was just overall like a really rewarding experience, and to reach that like close, it's almost close to like the pinnacle of like what you could ever reach in your soccer career. So it's just very, it's it's exciting. The thing that I enjoy the most is that we weren't out there kicking each other. We were finally playing against other teams and competing against them. And um, to see how we stacked up against the, the rest of the other teams, like see how we are doing in comparison to the rest of the world was good. Um, I thought we played well. We fell to England 2-1, to one, but I think that was one of the... I think it showed a lot. It was a character building game in the sense that you're not going to beat everyone. We definitely got to see like what our flaws were and really go back and look to see how we could readjust and become a better team. And I think that was a lot of what the trip was designed is playing as a team and individually getting better at the same time. No, it was exciting. I mean, I played against some of the Stanford girls, you know, who beat us in the national final. And it's different because you build these um, personalities of these people, but when you, once you start to actually get to know them, it's interesting to see, like, oh, like, they're actually really nice girls, but um, playing on the same stage as, like, these top players that you've played day in and day out is it's amazing, because they're people that you look at on your scouting report, and you're like, oh, these are people you need to pinpoint, and you're playing right by right next to them like out there on the field so I thought it, I thought it was a cool experience yeah, yeah uh, especially you there's Amber Brooks who's a UNC girl so we always poke jokes at each other and we're, we're playing them in the spring so it's gonna make it a little more exciting to play against them it's it's nice I mean we um, it's you know like I felt like I was able to like experience a lot of their culture this trip because like even like just through like the food that we were eating or like just being around these people, it was like interesting to see how it's different from obviously the United States. And um, it's almost easier to have the, like it's more of like an opportunity to have this time to travel because especially with like when you're playing for a college team or if you're, you're in school and you're, it's almost like you're allowed to miss for these kind of things and get those kind of trips that you've always dreamed of going on in this time. Yeah, yeah um, a lot of my teachers have been really understanding and they were emailing me throughout the trip. So just trying to do as much work on the trip as you can and just staying in constant communication with the professors, I think is the best way to man that I've been able to manage all that kind of work. When you play with players that you don't necessarily play with on a normal basis, you don't really know their tendencies. So therefore you have to stick more to the tactical style that you're taught. So there's things about like, uh, there, we played the same formation we played here. And I think it allowed me to be a little more strict and rigid in the way that you're supposed to play the formation rather than, you know, like me getting to play next to Libby and I know like how good a player she is. So I can kind of, you can kind of not really slack off, but you know what she's capable of doing. And with national camp, you don't really know what everyone's that capable of doing and they don't know your tendencies. So I think it allowed me to really um, study the formation more and I know way more about the 4-4-3, I guess, than I knew before I left for the camp.